Elon Musk and Tesla are actively working on creating insanely smart robots using fully independent artificial intelligence. Home robots or humanoid helpers might be the next big thing in technology. And Elon Musk is very good at catching technological trends and even getting so far ahead of competition. In a recent interview, he revealed how Tesla's development of full self-driving technology translates into its robotics work and how most homes will likely have humanoid robots in the future. While Musk is very confident that most families will have a home robot by 2050, he believes that improving AI will be a significant hurdle. So how does Elon see the next Tesla robot coming into reality? Let's find out. Elon Musk said that it took him a long time to realize that solving self-driving necessities requires solving real-world AI. Because once you have sold real-world AI for a car, which is effectively a robot on four wheels, you can apply the same techniques to a robot on legs. Musk emphasizes that while companies like Boston Dynamics have proved that it's possible to develop compelling humanoid robots, we're still a long way from seeing robots with the capacity of doing home tasks using AI. In the current state of affairs, sufficient intelligence is missing to allow the robot to explore the actual world and do meaningful things without being explicitly instructed. And according to Musk, those are two things that Tesla is proficient at. After that, the only thing left to do is to develop the exact actuators and sensors that a humanoid robot will require. He pointed out that people are completely unaware of the fact that this will be far larger than any car business. So, the CEO of SpaceX and Tesla envisions a future in which humanoid robots would replace humans in different fields and positions. Recently, he expanded on his vision of what it may be like to go about our daily lives with robots doing our different chores. This is where it gets even more interesting. As could be expected, Musk undoubtedly has some spare time to think about the future, despite his rigorous personal schedule. To the question of whether or not robots would one day become romantic or sexual partners, Musk responded, it is probably inevitable. I mean, I made a promise to people on Twitter that I would create cat girls, he explained. So the question is not on what, if it were possible to create a robot cat girl, but when was this technology come to be? Musk has professed his admiration for cat girls, fictitious human female characters with cat ears, tails, and whiskers, commonly represented in anime and manga. In 2019, he quipped that a new Tesla software function would not only blow purchasers' minds, but it would also be a crucial step towards cat girls, as he put it. Elon Musk can be really funny sometimes, but here is when things are getting serious now. The company's Optimus humanoid robot is being developed, as Musk is amusing his fans by introducing a weird joke into an otherwise serious topic. Up until now, though, the only thing we have seen was a dancer dressed in black and white performing on stage at the company's AI Day event last year. And since it's Musk, he couldn't help but make some bold statements about this. When it comes to Musk's forecasts, if there is one thing we have learned, it's that we shouldn't accept them at face value. Because after all, he has come up short on several previous instances. We don't expect Tesla to leapfrog decades of humanoid robot advancement this year, and we don't expect Catgirls to leapfrog decades of humanoid robot progress. So then, when will you be able to buy one for yourself? Musk warns that the world will have to work extremely hard to avoid a terrible end in the field of AI. He has stated that his other company, Neuralink, was established in part to mitigate the threat of AI. As Musk points out in the interview, a localized ROM chip that cannot be updated over the air will aid in the preservation of safety features, such as when someone asks a robot to hold, the robot would stop what it's doing and sees what it's doing. He also feels that there should be a regulatory agency for AI. In the words of Elon Musk, such a robot will initially be deployed to undertake risky and boring labor that no one wants to do, and then it will progress to the point where it can look after people, cook dinners, and mow the lawn, among many other things. When questioned about the timeline for developing such a robot, he responded that he expects there will be an exciting prototype this year. We could even have something usable next year, 
but he still doesn't think will have anything useful for at least two years. A humanoid robot will be cheaper to make than a car, Musk says, albeit the cost of production will be greater initially until manufacturing catches up and decreases the price. In the next few years, we will witness a growth in humanoid robots' utility, cost reductions, and the expansion of production capacity. Musk first teased the Tesla bot in August of last year at the company's AI Day, which was held in celebration of artificial intelligence. But truly, really, how realistic are all of these objectives and timelines? Several critics have voiced doubts about the robot project, which has been given the name Optimus Prime. This is primarily owing to Musk's well-deserved reputation for making unrealistic timetable promises. And indeed, an internal Tesla letter was leaked last year, suggesting that the company is a long way from achieving Level 5 autonomy, despite what Musk had declared in a public statement at the time. Musk believes that as the value of the humanoid robot's capabilities increases, Tesla's expenses will decrease as the business ramps up production of Optimus, which is now under development. When asked about the pricing of Optimus, he responded, I don't expect the cost will be ridiculously expensive. Actually, it might be less than the cost of a vehicle. Unfortunately, he did not disclose any information on which make or type of car he was referring to when making this statement. You might be asking yourself, if everyone gets a robot, will people just lose all their jobs? The issue has been on many people's minds since Tesla unveiled Optimus. How will it affect the work market? Tesla's CEO Elon Musk has claimed on several occasions that Optimus would be built for dangerous and boring jobs initially. However, as Tesla's humanoid robot skills get more advanced, some have worried about the potential influence on the labor market in the future. Compared to a human employee, the annual cost of a humanoid robot employee would be much less expensive, and a human worker would be unable to work the same long hours as a humanoid robot and would be willing to take some time off. I wouldn't be concerned about putting people out of work, Musk revealed. He explained that he believes that we're going to have and that we now have a significant labor shortage, and as a result, Musk does not believe that people will be out of work. Instead, he believes that the labor shortage problem will continue worsening with the time. Tesla's CEO has previously voiced worries about labor shortages in the company. Globally, declining birth rates may contribute to the scarcity of human labor. Musk made a passing remark about declining birth rates in the last couple of years. So how soon can Tesla come close to the targeted level of AI? Before Tesla disclosed plans to construct a humanoid robot, Musk was outspoken about AI's effect on human existence. Tesla's CEO has long expressed skepticism about the advancement of AI, and his views have not altered in recent years. He spoke on the need to put specific safety procedures in place for Tesla's humanoid robots, illustrating the amount of thought and effort that has gone into Optimus's development. But after all, nothing is ever certain, so we only have to wait and see. Would you mind owning a robot doing your house chores and going to work instead of you? Let us know in the comment section and see you in the next videos.